Hi, in this video we're going to find all real solutions to this equation. So we have the cube root of the cube root of x and that is equal to x. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. So we'll start by just cubing both sides of this equation. That will get rid of one of the cube roots. I'm going to go ahead and write it again down here just to make it look a little better. So we have the cube root of the cube root of x and all of that is equal to x. So step one is to cube both sides to get rid of that outside cube root. And we're left with simply the inner cube root of x equals, and then here we have x cubed. Good stuff. And again, we're still looking for x, and over here the x is trapped inside the cube root. So what we'll do is simply cube both sides again. So cube it and cube it. That's a really ugly three. There we go. I think I made it worse. <laughs> In any case, it's a three, and the, when you cube the cube root of x, you just get x. And then here, properties of exponents tell us that we multiply. So three times three is nine. So this is equal to x to the ninth. Good stuff. Now what we'll do is we'll set this equal to zero and try to factor. It's usually a good strategy with equations. So minus x and then minus x over here. That's gonna leave us with x to the ninth minus x and that's equal to zero, right? Because I'm just taking the zero and writing it over here and then x to the ninth minus x, I'm writing that on the left hand side, just switching it up. And it looks like we can factor out an x, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have x parentheses and then to figure out what goes here, we have to ask ourselves, what do we multiply by x in order to get x to the ninth? Well, that would be x to the eighth. And then minus, and then what do we multiply by x in order to get negative x? Well, that would be one. And that's equal to zero. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And this, this actually factors. And again, we're only looking for real solutions. So check this out. You can factor this as x to the fourth minus one times x to the fourth plus one. You might say, how did I do that? It's, it's the difference of squares formula. So recall, if you have a squared minus b squared, that's a minus b, a plus b. And so in this problem here, it's really x to the fourth squared minus one squared. So that's your a and that's your b. So it's a minus b, a minus b, a plus b, a plus b. Then you can do it again here, right? Because this is x squared squared. So this will be x, x squared minus one x squared plus one, and then we have x to the fourth plus one. Ridiculous, right? Completely ridiculous. And then you could do it again, right? Because this factors again, difference of squares again. So this is x minus one, x plus one, x squared plus one, and then x to the fourth plus one, and that's equal to zero. So using the difference of squares formula three times, again, the first time we had x to the eighth, we thought of it as x to the fourth squared because two times four is eight. So that's your a, that's your b. So it's a minus b, a plus b. There it is right there, a minus b, a plus b. Then we apply it to this. Think of this as x squared squared. So it's x squared minus one, x squared plus one. This hangs out, then you do it again. It's x minus one, x plus one. So we set each of these factors, each one of these equal to zero. So we have x equals zero. We give ourselves some more room here. Then we have x minus one equals zero. Then we have x plus one equals zero. Then we have x squared plus one equals zero. And then lastly, we have x to the fourth plus one equals zero. So here's one answer, x equals zero. You add one here, you get x equals one as another answer. You subtract one here, you get x equals negative one as another answer. And then here, you're not gonna get real solutions, so we don't want them. 
To see y, let's just take the first one and subtract one. That would give us x squared equals negative one. And when you take the square root of that, you're gonna get a plus or minus i, and that's not something we want in this problem. We only want real solutions. The same thing will happen here whenever you have x to the fourth equals negative one. In general, whenever you have an even power like this equal to a negative number, you're always gonna get some complex solution. So we only want real ones, and these are the only ones that work. So the final answer is 0, 1, and negative 1. I hope this made even just a little bit of sense. I kind of rushed through it at the end. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.